Um, here's another interesting type of question that we can kind of unlock with 3D uh, coordinates. So let's take two spheres, right? Let's take this one, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to nine. So this guy's like no values here, so centers the origin, um, radius three. But then let's take this guy, x squared plus y squared plus z minus four all squared equals to 16. So what's different about this guy? Where's he in relation to it? Yeah, he's kind of like, Four up, yeah, so he's like four up. He's like sitting, if you can get, take the sphere, get another one sitting on top like this, like, use my fist. You, you need a there you go. Sphere. Sorry? You need a second sphere. I did, I, I had one at home. I had, a, I had like a vase thing that had like a slot that was like perfect for this, but it's all right, I'll bring it in next time. Um, so I have this guy. Um, what are we doing with these? We want to see the value of z where they intersect. That's the first question. And B, this is gonna be interesting. Think about it this way, right? I don't have my cool vase thingy, but if you just measure my fist as a sphere, and you take this sphere, and you, they intersect somewhere, right? They're in that intersection, now we don't have like intersection points anymore. Right, it is, right? If you can, like, you have to visualize this a little bit. I'll, I'll try draw it, but so, Yeah. So if we if we're taking a sphere, oh, wait. and like there's your sphere, right? And then we're taking another sphere. So this one we'll take this guy as the shifted up one, right? He's centered at four on the z plane, right? And this guy's at the origin over here somewhere. And when we draw this smaller sphere, which is the one below. Try and like visualize what the intersection is going to be. It's not going to be a, a single point anymore. It's, it is actually going to be a circle, right? Because if you, if you just cut this guy in half here, shoo, it's like, you know, when you, sorry, sound effects. So it's kind of like, yeah, when you cut that orange, right? Um, like, what are you see, looking at? You're looking at a, a circle is that cross section. And that's exact, exactly the same thing here. That intersection is actually going to be what we call a plane. Right, it's a, or actually the, the whole thing would be a plane if you took it all the way, but the intersection region is actually going to be a circle, right? So you're getting like this plane, you're cutting it at some point, uh, at some z value, and then you're just going to be left with a circle as the intersection region now. So the question is, the equation of the circle where they intersect. Right, because the x, what are the x, y coordinates? They're not shifted at all, right? So because they're literally on top of each other, there's no like x, y changes that we have to make. It's only a z value that I'm looking for. So part A, the z value where they intersect. So that's going to be a, you know, a coordinate somewhere along here. And then we need to find the equation of the circle where they intersect, and we'll give their center and radius as well, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So a few problems here. But again, what did I say about applying our 2D kind of systems? We can think about these in similar ways, right? How do we find intersection points usually? Oh, okay. Something. Like yep, we could do that. So we, sit, we choose particular variables to set. Right. What about between um, two like curves or two lines? How do you find intersection points? Yeah, we create a simultaneous equation. We let them we equate we equate them. Right. And over here, could we just do the same thing? We can see a quick way to solve this simultaneously. You subtract them. Yeah. Yep. So you can do. You want to do 2 minus 1. So for part A, let's do this. We're going to do 2 minus 1. And we're going to do... What's that going to leave me with? It's going to leave me with... So these two cancel out. I'm going to get 
z minus 4 all squared minus z squared is equal to 16 minus 9. That's quite nice. So I've got a 7 over on this side. What should I do with this guy over here? Oh yeah, it's not really too nice in that factorized form. Let's expand it out. So I get z squared minus 8z plus 16 minus z squared. And then, lo and behold, hang on, these are cancelling out. We're getting left with, yeah, this is a bit suspicious. Minus 8z is equal to minus 9. And so z, we do have a z value, 9 over 8. So the intersection, <laughs> scale is pretty bad, so there's a 9 over 8. <laughs> Why not? Right? That's the z value where they intersect. Okay. So, isn't like, if they're two spheres, aren't they like sort of, there's like a fantastic section? You know what I mean? So, when you say like the point where they intersect. The, yeah, the z value where they intersect? Yeah, what is that like? Okay, let's, you know what? Let's just draw it. Um, See so if we can get a better visual of this. So we've got x squared plus y squared equals to, oh no, plus z squared. That was a paraboloid, by the way, if you, if you just start typing that. Yeah, we, we're very creative. We make things in loids to 3D shapes. Um, and what was the other one? x squared plus, plus y squared plus z minus 4 all squared equals to 16, I think. Okay, so here's two equations. Um, and I have all these annoying words here <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of. You guys don't need that. Okay. So what are we working with here? Can we sort of make out the circle? Yeah. Right? I wonder if I can change the colour of one of them. I really want to do that. Settings. So at that point where the, the colour, the, the, yes. The, the, Let's change yeah, the colour. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're on the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea what you guys were just talking about. See, okay. See, see like the, the, see the circle bit. So, say that again, what were you saying? Yeah, so like, so we'll see, we're finding the value of z, but the question was like, what, like, what is that? Like, what is what? Like, what like, is the z? He's asking like, like what is, is, is the z value we just found the yeah. height of the circle? Yeah. That we're going yes, to that's it, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. So nine over eight is our answer, yeah. and it's um like here. Um, my sort of question actually is now that I'm thinking about like, aren't these intersection this whole area? Yeah. Right. Like, it's a bit strange, isn't it? Like, ac right. like this whole thing is intersect. If we're thinking this is a solid shape, so I think this like a sphere right is a three D shape. I think it's not. Like, I think it's not, like, defined by this equation, right? It's not solid, it's not solid right? Because it's only the, the outside, like, the, radi uh, the um, circumference. I don't know what it is in the first sphere, right? If you change it to an inequality in that, does it make the intersection like a... It would, be a, would be a 3D shape. So this is not, these aren't the intersection points, actually. Like, on the diagram, it does look like it. But because this is not a solid kind of shape, um, that's not quite right. So the actual only intersection points are like the, the outside components, right? So, th so these, yeah, these kind of parts, that's why we get this equation of a circle rather than this whole solid of intersections, right? So that mean that 9 and 8? Yeah. Are they really so, so their value, they're, they're only intersecting on the outside oh, yeah, component, nine. right? Okay, cool. Whew, we got there. All right, what was the second part of that question? Um, I did. Did someone write it down? Okay, so if we have z equals to 9 on 8, and we had two equations. We had x squared plus y squared equals to 9, and x squared plus y squared plus z minus 4 squared equals to 16. So what are we looking for here? We're trying to find the equation of a circle. Okay, we're trying to find the equation of a circle when z equals to 9 on 8, so what should we do? I'm missing a variable. What's the original question? Uh, find the equation of a circle. The circle that, that is that this intersection circle. Find the, uh, <laughs> Sorry, my wording's all over the shop. <laughs> so find the equation of the intersection. So like, it's like find the intersection point, find the equ intersection equation, I suppose. 
I'm not going to say the circle again. <laughs> what do you think? So we know where they intersect. Where do they intersect? Okay, so what can we do with that value? Sub, yeah, sub it in. Easier one. So let's take sub z equals to 9 on 8 into 1. And so we're going to get x squared plus y squared plus 9 on 8 all squared equals to 9. Let's do some algebra. So we get 81 on 64. And so x squared plus y squared equals to... Someone worked that out for me. Yeah, why don't you do the second one for me? So, You don't want to? Yeah, okay. What do we get? Um, 495 over 64. Yeah, and let's answer the question. So we want a uh, center and a radius. So we've got our center at 0, 0. Uh, the radius, yeah. I thought we talked about clues of um, getting the right answer. It doesn't look like it's quite nice. No? Okay. What is the radius? It'll be like 2.78. Let's leave it as a fraction. Square root of 495 on 8, maybe? You take the square root of the top and bottom. On eight units. Cool. Okay. So that's like equation of a sphere, right? We have a form um, very similar to our circle, and we also have questions which are you know kind of similar to two D coordinates, right? Intersection points. Now we're not really dealing with points; we're dealing with intersection equations. Um, you know, we have to complete the square to solve things.